primary goal in the project was to provide a place for safe and open conversations to happen about race, either in the exhibit or in the car ride on the way home or in the public arena, that we really wanted people to have more conversations about race. And hopefully young people will go home and talk to their parents and say, did you know this? Did you know that? Did you understand what race was? And to start having a conversation about what does race mean in their everyday lives. Race is one example of a way in which an exhibit brings people in with multiple avenues of access at different levels of understanding. It gives voice to youth, it gives voice to all members of community, black, white, Native American. It gives voice to those in power and those without power. It tells compelling stories. When you bring people together, um, people meaning visitors, people meaning curators, people together, there's an incredible opportunity to learn. Learn about yourself, but to learn about some, something or somebody else who, who may be different. In the very first meeting that we had with the, the American Anthropological Association about this project, I did not know that race was not biological. And I work in a science museum, I'm not a scientist. But I didn't know that. I'd never been confronted with that. I'd never had to really think about it before. And so over this process, my whole relationship to what race is and what it means to me and the, the bit of understanding that I've gained about what it means to, to, to other folks um, has really changed pretty drastically. I think visitors coming to this exhibit are going to have a chance to think about what their own ideas about race are and find out where they're right on and find out where they might they might be able to learn something new. We have so many stereotypes about people of different color. I would like to ask America is basically does race really matter? And so when you go through you're really being very aware of, of the differences in people but and you realize how small those differences are. I thought I could, you know, tell what nationality people are just by looking at them, and I was just totally wrong. I just want to be comfortable talking to people about race. Because our world has become so global, even our rural communities are becoming global. We need to look at, in our communities, how we're alike, how we can support each other. Having Wing Young Huey's photographs in the exhibit is just a perfect fit to what we wanted to, the kind of values we wanted to express. They are honest um, portraits of people's lives. Um, it's really kind of race and class and community as it exists in America today in a way that, you know, it's just so beautifully presented. Because the key to all of this, I think, is getting back to that idea that people are real people and not labels or stereotypes. There were many points in the exhibit where you saw that. I was hearing real people talking about something that mattered to them. This exhibit tells us that you never really did belong to a race. You belong to the human race, which I thought as a girl all the time. But I couldn't tell these grown people this, that I'm human, that's what I am, and that's how you need to treat me. Because race is there. 24-7, but the humanity, the, that human factor is something that they can trust in. This exhibit has renewed our relevancy to the adult audience. It has said to adults, 
Things happen here that are important. Things happen here that can move us. It has power, it inspires, and it speaks to people's passions. It brings to our attention in a new way through the eyes of people who are not like ourselves, Asian Americans, Native Americans, uh, that we're not the only ones grappling with this, so we're not alone. And so I think what this, this exhibit will do is to one, help people recognize that race and racism and the experience of race and the idea of race and the scientific knowledge of race is not just about blacks and whites, that it's about everybody and that it affects all of us in some kind of way but then to also use that information to go back and challenge the systems in which they live and work, to kind of push the envelope with the parent, to push the envelope with the teachers. I've always been a big believer in science, and, but this exhibit has really made me realize that scientists are just people too, and they live in a culture, they live in a society that shapes the questions that they ask, shapes you know, the way they think about um, their work, that for me was kind of eye-opening. We all have to know something about culture and something about biology if we're really gonna talk about race. How we handle race in the next 10 to 20 years is really gonna determine how America is gonna grow in the future. Personally, I found this exhibit to be liberating because it told a story that's been aching to be told from so many vantage points. And as someone who has crossed so many barriers in different communities, to have heard the stories of others and to see them put together in this powerful way is refreshing. It's like taking a deep breath and saying, good, it's been done. I don't need to shout it anymore. Someone's told the truth. We have the courage of our convictions. <laughs>